Elon Musk possesses a wide range of skills. He is perhaps best known as the face of Tesla, an innovative automaker, but he's also well known for his lofty goals of colonizing other planets, which not even Iron Man has tried. The focus of our attention today is on SpaceX. Some viewers may not be familiar with the company, although they've likely heard of it. SpaceX is the only company actively pursuing the holy grail of interplanetary travel and speedy reusability in a meaningful way. Until SpaceX came along, that rocket recovery became a priority for any company. In this video, we will discuss some massive strange objects detected by SpaceX, so stay with us until the end of the video. Since 2008, when Elon Musk's SpaceX became the first privately financed organization to launch a payload into Earth orbit, the firm has been adding victories to its resume. Since then, the business has shown itself impressively, sending unmanned cargo craft to the International Space Station, or ISS, and in 2017, it was awarded a contract by NASA to ferry astronauts. For further crewed Mars excursions and lunar landings, the company's owner, Elon Musk, is also designing and building a Starship platform. The most severe disaster occurred last June when a cargo rocket headed for the International Space Station exploded while en route, depriving the team critically needed things and shattering trust in the enterprise as a whole. Launching the first two people to the ISS on the SpaceX Crew Dragon, the company made history on May 30, 2020. Since then, it has successfully launched many additional NASA and non-government agent workers. As of the middle of 2022, it is the only corporate spaceflight company capable of launching astronauts into space. Even so, Boeing's CST-100 Starliner may eventually give it a run for its money. You know the one where you reheat your lunch and microwave your coffee in your office? Well, the kitchen is superior at the SpaceX offices in Hawthorne, California. And you're aware of the nook next to the kitchen where folks congregate to gossip rather than return to their desks? Rocket launches occur there at SpaceX. Really? The SpaceX site is a sizable one-floor industrial complex that was formerly a Boeing fuselage manufacturing. It was taken over by SpaceX and converted into a single spaceport. Numerous square feet are devoted to cubicles. Musk is one of the only SpaceX employees who does not have an office with doors. The factory floor and kitchen are located nearby. Mission control is located next to that, hidden behind a tall glass wall. Workers assemble to see launches and recoveries before returning to their desks, computers, or lathes. It's similar to Silicon Valley, but cooler. Up until now, which objects has SpaceX launched into space? In 2010, SpaceX successfully launched the Falcon 9, ushering in a new era in space technology. SpaceX also created the Dragon Capsule, a reusable spaceship that launched in 2010 on board the Falcon 9. In 2012, the Dragon Capsule attached to the International Space Station for the first time. On its first journey, Dragon carried thousands of kilograms of goods to the ISS. Currently under development by SpaceX is Dragon 2, a spacecraft that can transport people into orbit. Following the success of the Falcon 9, SpaceX began planning a launch pad for the Falcon Heavy in 2011. In February 2018, the new rocket's first flight was completed. Using the Falcon 9 launch vehicle, SpaceX placed 60 miniature satellites in orbit around the planet in May 2019. The Starlink mission aims to provide potential consumers with a low-latency, high-capacity internet service by eventually deploying thousands of such satellites into a low-Earth orbit. In March 2019, the Crew Dragon, a brand new Dragon spacecraft, successfully conducted its first test flight to the International Space Station. The Falcon Super Heavy is a brand new version of the Falcon series that will be able to launch over 200,000 pounds of payload into low Earth orbits. The new rocket will transport the Starship, a brand new spacecraft that will ferry people to the Moon and Mars. Involvement in over 100 space missions totaling over $12 billion has made SpaceX one of the world's fastest growing providers of satellite launch services. The business has contracts with the United States government in addition to commercial launches. The ultimate aim of the corporation, though, remains the desire of sending humans to Mars and other planets in the solar system, a goal that Musk has reiterated countless times. The launch of four people into space by Elon Musk, SpaceX, and NASA in April of this year went off without a hitch, but not without a little incident. On Saturday, just before docking at the ISS, the crew of the Crew Dragon Endeavor narrowly avoided a collision with an unidentified flying object. After liftoff, U.S. Space Command received reports of a possible UFO collision and issued a warning to the crew. 
U.S. Space Command alerted the NASA-slash-SpaceX team about the possibility of a collision. According to NASA spokeswoman Kelly Humphreys, there wasn't enough time to reliably calculate and perform a debris avoidance maneuver before the closest approach time, and she said the item being tracked is classed as unknown. As a result, the SpaceX team decided to play it safe by having the crew put on their pressure suits. About seven hours after the spacecraft launch, the Pentagon warned NASA about the potential collision, according to U.S. Space Command spokesperson Aaron Dick. The closest the item got to the Endeavor was around 45 kilometers away. There was no genuine threat to the astronauts or the spacecraft, as it was later stated. The object's true nature, size, and substance remain unknown. They were the first people to reach orbit using a rocket booster from a previous space voyage, and they made history when they landed at the ISS. Four people, including a Japanese astronaut, a French engineer from the European Space Agency, and two Americans, ages 53, Mission Commander Shane Kimbrough, and 49, Pilot Megan MacArthur, were on board. This crew will be NASA's second operational crew to launch from Earth to the space station in a Crew Dragon capsule after human space flights began from the United States last year. After the retirement of the U.S. Space Shuttle program in 2011, there was a nine-year break in spaceflight. SpaceX was created in 2002 by Musk, who also serves as the CEO of electric car manufacturer Tesla. This is the third crewed spaceflight flown into space in 11 months through NASA's nascent public-private cooperation with SpaceX. This will be the first time an already flown rocket has been used in a crewed launch, making history with this mission. SpaceX was a pioneer in developing a reusable rocket method to reduce the cost of traveling to space by sending rocket boosters back to Earth for reuse. This isn't the first time something like this has been spotted. Since its observation as it careened past the sun at the end of 2017, the strange space objects known as Oumuamua has left scientists scratching their heads. The reddish, stadium-sized object was certainly from another solar system given its fast speed and peculiar trajectory. It was unlike other asteroids and comets because of its unusually flattened and elongated shape and the rapidity with which it traveled through the solar system. The notion that Oumuamua is an alien spaceship was first brought up in 2018 by a pair of Harvard researchers. In a report to be published on November 12th in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, the researchers speculate that the object may be a fully working probe dispatched purposely to Earth vicinity by an alien culture. Nowhere do the researchers state that aliens are responsible for sending Oumuamua. They conclude that Oumuamua is likely a spaceship being propelled through space by light that falls on its surface or a light sail of artificial origin, based on their mathematical study of the object's acceleration as it raced past the sun. As to the question of who would have intentionally sent such a spaceship our way, the answer is nobody. It's impossible to guess the goal behind Oumuamua without more data, Avi Loeb, chairman of the Harvard Astronomy Department and co-author of the report stated. He went on to say that if Oumuamua is a light sail, it's possible that our solar system accidentally collided with it, like a ship knocking into a buoy on the surface of the ocean. Since Oumuamua has departed the solar system and is no longer visible with telescopes, determining the truth may be difficult. Whatever the situation may be, Loeb argued that astronomers should start looking for other interstellar objects like Oumuamua because we've already spotted one. Whether or not Oumuamua is a member of an advanced civilization, he said that a search of the solar system for light sails as techno-signatures was necessary. With a scientific report, Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb bolstered the hypothesis that Oumuamua is an alien light sail, a spacecraft propelled by the sun. Loeb doesn't say for sure that it is an alien spaceship. He only thinks scientists should look into the idea. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. We'll be back soon with a new video. Until then, stay tuned.